welcome to Infinity Education channel. In the, today's video, we will be seeing three machine scheduling. This is the basically extension of Johnson's method. If you haven't watched the video of Johnson's method for n jobs and two machines, please see that part one video. And this is the part two, which is n jobs and three machines. Let's start. So here we have took the example. We have five jobs and their processing time on machine one, machine two, and machine three. All the assumptions we have took uh, in the previous part one video will be applies over here also. Here you can see that we have the sequence of operations on each machines for individual jobs are defined. Job one will first machine on M1, then M2, and then M3. Now, the required condition for moving ahead will be minimum of time for any job on machine one should be greater or equal to the maximum time available on M2 or minimum of T of M3 should be greater or equal to maximum time available on M2. So which is the minimum one? The minimum of M1 is six. The maximum on M2 is also six. So six greater or six. This condition is satisfied. For the safer side, we will also check the, this one. So minimum on M3 will be four. So as you can see that this condition is not satisfied over here, but uh, as we can see, any of the condition should satisfy to apply this rule. So let's move ahead. Here basically uh, what we have to do is, first of all, we have to convert uh, this into the two machines problem. So how we are gonna do that? We will be just uh, summing up like M1 plus M2 and M2 plus M3. So we'll be summing up, it's like eight plus five, 10 plus six, six plus two, seven plus three, 11 plus four. Same goes for this side also. So what we will get is n job and two machines problem. So we have successfully converted like eight plus five will be 13, 10 plus six is equal to 16. Same goes for all and machine B uh, five plus four is nine. Uh, over here three plus six is nine. Same goes for all. So we have converted this uh, three machine problem into the two machine problem. So to schedule it and to identify the make span time, I have already explained this method into the part one of the video. So please go and watch that video. Thank you.